on the hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I'm Deborah Rodriguez, top golfer Scotty Scheffler, detained by police on his way to the PGA Championship in Louisville. Right now, he's going to jail. Right now, right now, he's going to jail. Okay, he's going to jail. Video from an ESPN reporter shows the world's number one ranked golfer handcuffed and being taken to a police car outside the Valhalla Golf Club. ESPN says he failed to follow police orders after a pedestrian was struck and killed by a shuttle bus near the golf course. ESPN says Scheffler drove past a police car and was chased down, cuffed, and taken into custody. The second round of the PGA delayed in Houston. A powerful storm pounding southeast Texas with rain and wind for the second time this month. This man was caught in a building downtown. We were about to leave, and then all of a sudden, we're in the restroom, and we hear everybody screaming and coming toward the restroom, and there's like dust blowing down from the, the filling piles. At least four deaths are blamed on the weather. Almost 800,000 customers in Texas have no power. The first trucks filled with badly needed food have left the newly built U.S. pier off Gaza. The U.N. and aid groups warn those supplies aren't nearly enough to make up for what's not getting in through blocked land crossing. Michael Cohen expected to take the stand for a fourth day when former President Donald Trump's hush money trial resumes Monday. CBS's Robert Costa on yesterday's testimony. During heated cross-examination, the defense repeatedly raised doubts about Michael Cohen's credibility. Donald Trump's former fixer admitted to lying under oath numerous times in the past, saying he did it because of his loyalty to the former president, echoing what he told Congress in 2019. Trials on hold so Mr. Trump can attend his son Barron's high school graduation today. A judge in Santa Fe will hear Alec Baldwin's motion to dismiss the indictment against him in the deadly shooting on the set of his movie Rust. Loyola Law's Jessica Levinson. I'm not sure that this motion to dismiss is likely to succeed, but it is predictable. Defendants often file these types of motions. In this case, I do think that this case will go to trial. Paul McCartney can stop singing this tune. The annual Sunday Rich List puts the former Beatles worth at the equivalent of one and a quarter billion dollars. That makes him the first British musician to cross the billion pound mark. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 53 degrees in Oakland, California.